you asked for it, you got it. BSC at home. Episode number four, special huge edition. Today we are going to be chatting with Barrington Stage Company Associate Artist Josh Burgas, Emmy Award winning Josh Burgas. His amazing wife and life partner, Sarah Mearns, principal dancer of the New York City Ballet, and singer, songwriter, lyricist, extraordinaire superstar, Zoe Sarnak. Super excited to be coming to you from my mom and dad's house. There she is, my amazingly super amazing partner in crime. Hello, gorgeous Ever Joe Rao. Hi, honey. You always look so fabulous. Say hello to the people. We're recording. Hey, Josh. Josh Burgos. Josh Burgos. Hi. So, Josh, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing okay. We're hanging in there as best we can. Sorry, my dog is going crazy. <laughs> I was going to say, hmm. Jingle bells in the background. <laughs> Why don't we meet your dog? We've met okay. your Joe's dogs. Yep. Here's, this, is, this is Ozzy. Oh, hi, Oh, Ozzie. stop yeah, it. He's a tyrant. Okay. Um, was Ozzy he, the one making all the noise? Yeah, he's, he, he found his favorite toy. And then this is Rocky. He's, he's a bit quieter. He's a little oh, older. Oh, hi, Rocky. Oh, those oh. ears. <laughs> and then, do you mind quickly telling us your origin story with Julie? The first show we did together at Barrington Stage was West Side Story. But what she probably does not remember is that's not the first time we met or worked together. The first time we actually met was when she was casting Follies. And I think that was maybe two years before West Side. The choreographer was Lara Teeter, okay. and he was unavailable to do the auditions. Lara and I had the same agent, and he asked our agent, you know, do you have anybody who can help run these auditions? And so they got me to run the auditions for Follies. And that's when I first met Julie. And Julie does not remember this. I don't all. think she yeah. does. Amazing. Yeah. So I saw a little um, dance. That dance is something that we were commissioned. Sarah and I were commissioned from uh, Works in Process at Guggenheim to create anything. We had carte blanche. Sarah is a, a ballerina, principal ballerina at New York City Ballet. Amazing. And um, she's done a lot of things with Works in Process, and, and I've done a couple. And so we start to we brainstorm, and, and, and I called Zoe and said, would you happen to have like a song in your trunk or something that might be appropriate for this for, you know, for this crisis, this time period. And Zoe said, actually, I just wrote a song. It made me so happy. It was, it's just beautiful and lovely. Um, so I sh is Sarah there? Yes, she's she, Sarah she there. Is. We can go visit her and say yeah. hi. Yeah, we can do that? Yeah, we will. Okay, we ready? Yeah. Okay, we're traveling. Bring the dogs. <laughs> They'll come. Bring They'll the whole come. fam. Okay, hi, so Sarah. Here, here's Sarah. Hi. And now do you, like your husband, do you choreograph on the side too? Or are you full time? I'm the I'm on stage. This is my where's my light? How come put more light on me? <laughs> yeah. I do not choreograph, but I love collaborating with people. I um, I'm always reaching out to different people to create different things and I love being in that process with somebody and almost co-collaborating in a way. So when Josh, okay, so now let's go to the storm. How did this conversation come up? Do you remember what Josh Josh turned to you and said, "Hey, Sarah." <laughs> fill in the blank. Well, we were we were commissioned to make this work by Works and Process at the Guggenheim. Um, and they're very big on supporting artists right now. And I've worked with them for many years. So they came to us and said, would you like to make a virtual piece? They said, you can do whatever you want. Um, do it anywhere you want. Use any kind of music you want. And, so, and that's sort of very hard for me to wrap my brain around when they say just do anything you want. Yeah, it's yeah. very... Um, it's kind of like, where do you start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really hard. So we started thinking of... Uh, music that we would want to use. He all of a sudden was just like, well, why don't you use Zoe? Yeah. Do you remember instinctually what you thought or felt when you first read or heard the song? It just felt very relevant and um, very touching. 
things were so hard and I was feeling, you know, just so heavy uh, and angry and frustrated. But at the same time, um, you know, I was trying to stay positive and trying to find the you know, positivity in things and in being home and us being together because I had been away for a long time. Um, and, you know, what, you know, and I, we were fortunate enough that, that, that we were healthy, we were safe. So I was, I was like wrestling back and forth with this negative negativity and anger and then, and then this positivity. And also, you know, seeing what Sarah was going through uh, and, um, but yet the beauty in her movement, it was kind of like, you know, this dichotomy. And so as I was choreographing it, it was like, I just kept feeling that, you know, just trying to capture that and, and let all that out. And that's where, that's where the, the movement came from. That's amazing. So Josh Burgas, what is a crossing? So a crossing is, um, I had this idea about five years ago uh, to do a show about immigrants. I wanted to do something about immigrants because my parents were immigrants. And my mother is from Eastern Europe. She, uh, her family are Holocaust survivors and she lived in a refugee camp for five years before they came to the United States. And my father is an immigrant from uh, Brazil, from South America. And he came here as a teenager. So I called Julie and said, hey, would you be interested in doing a heavy dance piece that is about immigration? And she said, yes, absolutely. You know, with it, she didn't <laughs> hesitate. And so she introduced me to Mark St. Germain. We got right. together and, and over a few sessions came up with this idea of doing a crossing, which is the story of... Uh, migrants crossing the border from Mexico to the U.S. There's no spoken word, right? That's right. There's no dialogue. The story is told in uh, music and dance only. Um, and uh, as Mark likes to say, it's his dream job to write a book that has no <laughs> dialogue. It's amazing. But I was looking for a composer for a crossing. Uh, Mark and I were looking for a co composer for a crossing. And when I heard Zoe's music, I, I thought it was just perfect. And it really inspired me to, uh, you know, to visualize the dance. So, um, so th and then I reached out to her and we met and, and, and she came on board. Is Zoe around? It, yeah, she is. You, would you like to talk to her about the oh music? My God, yeah, that would be great. It. That would be great. Bring Zoe's content her in into the into the room. Bring her in. Okay, let, let me let me see if I can do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna see how adept I am at Zoom. Oh, Mark and I have gotten so oh, good Mark. since our first little Zoom Come thing. On. That was episode one, Josh. You should be up to speed right now. <laughs> <laughs> let me see. Copy invite link. Okay. Hey, Hi, so welcome to Jesse at home. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having me. Just hearing some of the tracks that you guys have laid down already. So amazing, so moving. Um, my husband said you remind him of Brandy Carlisle in a way, because uh, my husband's upset. Oh, is that a good thing? This is the greatest moment of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say to all of my community, all of my lesbian friends out there. Yes. You heard it here first. Oh, I love that. The greatest day of my life. Zoe, how are you feeling about this extra time that you have now? Yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny? Your first thing is to just deal with the, um, like the delay being sad because we all get so excited when we're yeah. world premiering something. Yeah. And then when I stepped back and thought about... Um, the conversations we had started to have, we were really, I thought, deepening the piece with every draft. And so as much as it's painful to, you know, deal with this moment for theater in general, we say, okay, let's use this year to make it better. And I understand that you did research on the music. Is that correct? Oh, yes. One thing that's been really special about the way we've put together this team is that um, we have an overlapping Venn diagram of expertise. And one of my um, counterparts from the Calpulli Dance Company. He plays prim primarily guitar, um, but he's like a music director of, of more like folk, authentic Mexican music. And 
one thing that felt exciting to me is thinking about like what hybrids of sounds we could make. There's a huge communication of music back and forth across the border that goes, you know, hundreds of years back. So what is the relationship between folk and country and authentic um, Mayan or, or um, Aztec music? And um, what is the relationship between pop rock um, that would be born in Mexico City and um, mm -hmm. the sort of San Antonio version of that? Well, I'm extremely excited to see this. Oh, my. You're going to have a great time in the Berkshire, Zoe. Oh, yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah, yes. we can you can come to my house. I'll grill. <laughs> Ooh. What a I'm house. holding you to this in a year. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's amazing. All right. And you'll have to sing to my husband, too. Both. Deal and deal. Yeah. Thank you guys so much Today for being here. I'm really Thank excited. So bye. Love you, bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 This is totally ridiculous, and it's just Josh and I right now, everybody. Don't tell it to everybody. <laughs> All right, Josh Bergas, you are the Emmy Award-winning Josh Bergas. <laughs> like to win an Emmy Award. Come on, we can't leave that out of the conversation. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's true, it's true. Yep, you actually. Have, you have, oh, I want to see it. <gasps> there she is. Oh, my God. Okay, you have 60 Emmy. seconds. What's it like to win an Emmy Award, Josh Bergas? It was surreal i mean you get it and then and then you get off stage and they take it away from you <laughs> and you have to you, they have to go and stand in line to actually get yours backstage and okay through all that and then um after i got it and and they were sending me back to my seat and we were going I, they told me to you know take these stairs i was like i just need to sit down for a second i just sat okay. down in a stairwell oh and and texted my mom. <laughs> okay, yeah, you won cool. for the NBC show Smash, right? Yeah, yeah. Wait, did they spell your name right and everything? They well, yeah, they yeah, they did. You get the band. The band comes later, a few months later. And then, like, do you have to assemble it yourself? I do. I do. You do. You have to assemble it yourself. That's a little. That's a little disappointing. But you know what's great was um uh, <coughs> coming home from California the next day. Um, getting on the airplane and um, you know I, they, they wanted me to check this <laughs> it was like, no way I just walk and, and I, I went and I went through security holding this and and um, actually the security guards uh, the, the the TSA guards they um, they wanted they took pictures with it that's just they, they all posed with the ME so and then go through like Security holding it or like holding it? Like, yeah, it was, no, it's like this. That's brilliant. <laughs> went through the belt and everything. That, and then they all took pictures oh. with it and I walked on the plane with it. That is hysterical. So, okay, um, okay, forgive me for being that shallow, but <laughs> I, I wanted to know all of that and I'm so happy that I do. Uh, it was great, great to chat to you today and I can't wait to talk to you again. Thanks, good talking to you. Hey, Take man, care. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.